Hi everyone, this is Call of the Wild. It is the next The Hunter game. This is in closed beta, so everything in here is due to change. If we look at the main menu, it has continue, new game, multiplayer, settings, gallery, and download. So that is confirmed. There is trophy shots, but not at the moment. That will probably be on the release of the game. So for settings, we have in-game, aim toggle, on and off. For graphics, we can set everything from low to ultra. I'll leave everything in medium, just so it doesn't crash, because this game has crashed a hell of a lot. But I assume, again, that's because it is in beta, and it's a very early build. So audio, this is what we have for audio. I've adjusted this a bit. Gamepad, you can't click, you can't click on gamepad, and you can't click on keyboard and mouse. Key bindings, here's the key bindings here. Now, all this here, I cannot change at all. So it's all default that I have to work with. So let's go back, and let's head over to the game now, and I'll show you what it's like. Gently now, take a deep breath to steady your aim. Okay, so in Call of the Wild, you hunt animals, and each kill that you get, you earn money. And with the money, you can buy available weapons and clothing. Here's the rifles you can buy currently. Now, since I'm in closed beta, I have a limited access as to what I can buy. This is all due to change on release, there could be many more weapons added. But at the moment, this is what we have. So I'll go over each one, and feel free to pause the video and have a read. Now for handguns. Now for shotguns. bows there should be a track nearby I believe this boat is 60 poundage draw weight and this is a 70 poundage draw weight boat now these are the ammo not too much there, you don't really, I don't really have to go through this. Just ammo, not really that interesting. But feel free to pause if you did want to have a look at what you can get. There's all different types of bullets for the 4570 and 3030, etc. So hollow point, soft point. So there's different ammo types for each particular gun. One gun just doesn't stick to the one type of ammo as such. And if we move on to handgun ammo, here it is here, there's hollow point and flat nose. And that's going through all the handguns there. Shotgun, have bird shot, slug, and buckshot. There's no 20 gauges at the moment, only 12 gauge that I see currently. For arrows, there's different arrows, which is a very nice touch to the game. Sights. The 
These are mainly just all iron sights and different optics you can get, kind of thing. Won't take too long here. But here's the scopes. They've added, I've noticed they've added a lot of rifles and, and scopes and shotguns from the original The Hunter. So that is very nice. Now let's go over to... Bow arrows. Oh no, sorry. Sh handgun sights. My bad. This one. And this one. And this one. Remember, if you did want to read the information or the text, just pause the video. Bow sights. callers jackrabbit caller um, with the callers in the game um, I have noticed they don't actually lure the animals yet but again I'd say that's definitely due to beta on the full release the callers should work as intended <laughs> and there's no picture for wild boar caller either or red de red deer caller now if we move down to the equipment tab we can see the optics these are the different optics you can get. Remember, this is all due to change. It's only in beta, so there could be more added in the future on the release date. If we get down here, you can get Scent Eliminator as well. And these are different backpacks, I believe. So more space that you can carry in your inventory. As we know by the Hunter, classic, pretty standard. even more big backpacks down here. Now the clothing, if we click on the clothing, I just wanted to go over this. Um, all this clothing here that we currently have available to us in the beta doesn't affect the animals. So your choice of clothing does not affect how well animals can detect you. But I assume camo will be added on the release of the game. But here's what we have at the moment. And all the text is the same for all of them. But I'll start with this one, just so you can read this. Alright, that covers it. Okay, so I'll show you the world map now. Now for the world map, uh, where are we? We are, there we are. So, I believe we started from the bottom of the map there, then we walked up and went to the spotting tower, and we kept going up, 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 and we found a lodge, and this is where we are now. So, each little, whoa, each little icon here represents a different thing. So, those things are actually lore icons. You go to those little icons there, and it tells you a bit of the story of the game. Now for the leaf sign, that's actually a feeding sign of where the deer go to to feed. Now, the little binocular icon there, I believe they are big huge watchtowers that you can get up and get scouting information from. And what you do, you get up on the little tower and you press E right at the top and it should reveal all these little icons around that tower they will be question marks like this I can zoom in for you there'll be question marks like that there should be a track nearby okay thank you lady I'll check it out in a minute but here these question marks get revealed to you first and then once you go over to them you'll either reveal what these icons are now last but not least are these little stand icons these are constructible towers that you go to press E on and it instantly constructs now each little part that you visit, you'll gain XP and experience for. So what do you do with the XP and experience that you earn? And through killing animals, what do you do? How do you level up? Well, if we go to the perk system here, you will see, oh, you will see you have different perks. So we can go through each one by one 
and pause the video if you wanted to read them. As a fox called then, but we'll get him later. <laughs> Here we go. So the first perk that you unlock is muscle memory. As you can see, there's two tiers, so you have to pick one. And then if you want to level up again, you'd pick it again, and you would lock level two. That's how it works. And each little line represents what it gets linked to next time you want to level up. So the next tier would be that, then that, and that, if you wanted to go that way, or you can go just that way. It's up to you. But when you start out with the game, you cannot hold your breath. A lot of people think it's a bug or something like that, but it's actually in the perks right here. So first you have to unlock this. Then you have to unlock this breath control. It's actual. It's an actual ability that you have to unlock through leveling up as you play the game. So I've kind of noticed that when you when you're starting out, you do have to go prone and get like under 100 meters. Otherwise, it's very very difficult to actually shoot and kill an animal because of the steadiness of the rifle. There's just no way to control it. So kill a few animals, explore a bit until you unlock this. It's mandatory you get that and it should help you a lot but here's what you get with that level Let me go to the next one steady hands decrease wobble there you go so again pause the video if you wanted to read them I'll just go through these quickly some of the information of course won't be here because it is in beta and this is all due to change Now when you level up, you do earn skill levels too. Now for the skills, now for the skills you get locate tracks. At the moment I have one out of three. As you can see that's my current level, one out of three. And you can tell which what you get for each level down there. So I go through them again like I do with the perks, one by one. Pause the video if you wanted to have a read of them. Also, I have noticed that they unlock with each little section here. So, just go through this. See how it has at the top there, tier 0, 1, 2, 3. So what will happen is once you get a few more perks, maybe on these, or maybe max out one of these, I don't know, you unlock the second tier, then you go through here, and then you unlock third tier and then the fourth tier etc maybe that's how it works connect the dots next skill level soft feet now it is nice that you have a choice of what you can invest first you do not have to say invest all this first before you get that you can choose kind of thing very nice Yeah, there we go. There's a perk or a skill level that's not available in beta, as you can see. And that covers it for the skills. So with each lodge that you come across, these are little lodges, as I showed you on the map. You get certain little points. So this little flag, I pressed E on it and I simply claimed it. It sort of works uh, very similar to if you've ever played Far Cry 3 and you capture encampments. It's kind of like that. And the scouting towers being like the radio towers of Far Cry 3, it is very similar to that. 